you ready to go? Are you ready to go? Are you ready to go? Come on. Ha! Ha! Skajoring is when you have a dog pulling you on cross country skis. I skajor at the lab all the time. When we have good snow, I bring Bear with me at least once a week because it keeps him happy. <laughs> this is the first time we've had a team in the sled out though. But I've been wanting to take a team out here for a long time since we have the trails, we have the prairie, everything we need. My undergrad was actually the Huskies, so I've always had a soft spot for them. Got interested in dog sledding when I was in grad school and was a volunteer for the Bear Grease Sled Dog Marathon, which is a 500 mile race from Duluth to the Canadian border and back. So I spent finals week uh, sitting in my car studying for quantum mechanics while I was waiting for uh, dog teams to come doing road crossings and, and in between uh, teams I usually had at least an hour before the next team came through and so it actually provided a good chance for me to study for my quantum mechanics final. <laughs> but I adopted Bear um, about six years later when I first started, after I got married, got into my own house. I was already working at the lab at the time. When I first uh, contacted Adopt-A-Husky, which is where we got him through, and they said, you, how are you planning on keeping your, you know, this dog active? And I pointed out that I'm a marathon runner and Bear's my primary training partner. And uh, so they were laughing because they went very rapidly from how are you going to keep your dog exercised to how are we going to find a dog that can keep up with you? A lot of these dogs end up homeless because people don't know what to do with a dog with this much energy. And um, this is the perfect outlet for him. Bear already knew his commands. We have commands when we drive the dogs. You tell the dog, hike, if you want the dog to take off. You tell the dog to go G if you want the dog to go to the right. Ha if you want the dog to go to the left. G over! G over! I had worked commands with Bear since the day we adopted him because it's easier when I'm running just to tell him when, where to go rather than to yank his leash all the time. Once Bear got running with the team, he figured out really fast that he was supposed to pull and then he started to really enjoy it. Bear's been running now in harness for five years. He went from a dog who they thought, who we thought we were going to have to put down because of aggression issues to a dog who goes with me and does public appearances for adopt a husky on a couple times every winter and likes his adoring public as i put it 